women's clothing or workers' clothing because it was like a humble colour. You're know, welcome to join in picking the leaves now oh. because otherwise it would take a long time for just me. Um, as you can see, just well, many of the best the ones that look like they're totally kind of shriveled up and dead. Whoa. Good job. Here's where I spill them off. Nice, yes. Okay, I think this is probably enough here, or it's certainly decimated the plants. And whilst it's not in contact with oxygen, it's also water soluble. But as soon as it gets in contact with oxygen, it turns blue and it also becomes water insoluble, which means it will turn into little particles and sink to the bottom. Mm -hmm. If you want to dye something, you actually must use, it must have things in general, if you want to dye things, have to be water soluble so that they go into the fibers and they stick to the fibers and the dye fibers. So the trick with indigo is, and dyeing with indigo, is this relationship between white indigo and blue indigo. Um, yeah, it's got to be chilled in this particular process. <laughs> this process was de developed actually by a Japanese master dyer. Oh. Yeah, that works well. So you have to add the white. If you're a bit more sensible, you would probably measure. <laughs> um, I've just added some vinegar. Anyone else feel like they're missing out on having blue hands? Quite keen mm -hmm. to have blue hands? <laughs> <laughs> when I did this in um, Beijing, I got really blue hands from doing this. So, um, you just start it out. Dye him. Yeah, dye him. <laughs> dye the puppy. This is my clever method for straining the bath without introducing lots of oxygen. Okay. So just stick it in, we're going to leave it an hour. 